National Registry of Emergency Medical Technicians, Wikipedia Article Audio The National Registry of Emergency Medical Technicians is a U.S. certification agency covering pre-hospital medical providers. History Standards Levels of Certification Nationally Registered Paramedic Nationally Registered Advanced Emergency Medical Technician Nationally Registered Emergency Medical Technician Nationally Registered Emergency Medical Responder Controversy NREMT was established in 1970 in response to a recommendation from President Lyndon Johnson's Committee on Highway Traffic Safety that a national certifying agency for emergency medical technicians be created in order to establish and standardize training requirements. Most states use or require NREMT testing for some level of state certification. NREMT recognizes four levels of EMT. EMR, Basic, Intermediate, and Paramedic. NREM certification at an EMT intermediate level may or may not be sufficient for some state EMTI requirements. While NREM certification may be mandatory for new state certification, it is not necessarily required for renewals. These procedures and requirements vary from state to state. In 1986, military emergency rooms were required to certify all medical technicians through NREMT. Highest level of certification through the NREMT. This represents the highest level of national certification. Paramedics are considered advanced life support and can administer a range of medication as well as perform advanced electrical and invasive surgical interventions in the United States, NRP paramedics typically consist of a one-year program or two-year associate's degree program consisting of over 1,800 hours of didactic and clinical education focusing on acute emergency stabilization and pre-hospital care. 1999 EMT Intermediate National Standard Curriculum as defined by the Department of Transportation, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration This level can also provide certain drug therapies. This level of certification provides basic life support. This is the entry level into emergency medical services. They are trained in CPR. Advanced First Aid, Automated External Defibrillator Usage, and Patient Assessment. Most police and fire services require their employees to be emergency medical responders at a minimum. This course is usually 40-60 hours in length. The NREMT has been criticized for failing to prevent cheating during some exams. The Washington, D.C. Fire Department was investigated for cheating on the NREMT certification exam, however, an extensive investigation by the NREMT, Pearson VU, with assistance from the D.C. Fire and EMS Department and the D.C. Police, revealed no evidence of cheating at Pearson VU's La Plata, MD Testing Center. The NREMT works with the EMS community to implement the national EMS system including the EMS Agenda for the Future, EMS Education Agenda, A-Systems Approach, and National Scope of Practice Model.